everyone okay so today i'm going to introduce you to an app called book buddy book buddy is um effectively a database uh, it keeps a list of um, all your books uh, that you've got and in a nice simple way you can just scan them in which i'll show you in a moment um which means on your phone you will always have your whole list of books so when you go to a bookstore you can just double check do i have that or not mm, not sure so you can quickly look at it um, and you can also keep a monitor of uh, books that you read, books that you like, books you don't like, etc, etc. So um, I find it's very useful because it can also tell, uh, well, remind you uh, where you've placed it. So whether you've placed it in one particular room, another room, in storage, whatever, whatever. So it's um, a great app. Um, I've used it for must be coming up to eight plus years now. Um, and I, I buy lots of little um, sort of business books as well um, so it's great to be able to you know keep a check on, on what's the the latest book and what I've got in my inventory so this is the menu uh, once you go in you've got um, all loaned out read next reading status favorites tags uh, a series of filters like the book series author publisher genre uh, date published etc etc so lots of different ways to find uh, your, your books. So let's get cracking. Um, press the plus sign and you can either scan the books in singly or in multiples. Um, here, one of the uh, on the go books that I'm reading, uh, The Seven Habits. And as you can see here, you just take the barcode and you scan it. And then it picks up uh, the information and as you can see, all the detail about the book itself is, is, is pulled from server somewhere and um, yeah, it's entered into your, um, your, your database. Um, so all you have to do uh, is then save it. Now you, scan, you can scan um, multiple books at the same time. So here I'll just demonstrate uh, if you've bought a, a batch of books. So here my favorite book for this year, uh, The Feng Shui by Peter So, uh, Year of the Ox 2021. So you just, um, I'm going to cover the 2D barcode, you can't do 2D barcodes at the moment. So um, that's it, book scanned. So book number one, then you take your second book, um, looking at keto dieting. So uh, put a book on that and uh, you just scan that. And then there you go, book number two. And then you can carry on and on until you've uh, all the books are there. Then you click done and then uh, it says that you've done two books, two books complete brings up the information and you can actually just tap it and uh, find out a bit more about the books. Exactly the same, uh, ISB known number, everything's pulled up from the server, it's my key to clarity. Again, all the dates, all the information there as well. So you can also add your ratings and stuff like that from here. Click save, you're done. So if you look at the menu system, I've got uh, 184 books there. Uh, you scroll up and down and you know, there's, there's lots of books there. You can see here, uh, there's a loan down category, um, read next, oh, sorry, read next, uh, reading status, and here we have a, a list of your favorites if you've selected them, and um, you can tag them appropriately depending on you know, what, what uh, you want to call them. don't want to read these two so tag them as don't want to read uh, this one's been you know, read already this one's currently being read <clears throat> and these I don't like so I started didn't really like them stop reading so you can see there's lots of different categories that you can use here's already got filters so uh, as it pulls data from the, uh, the, the server the internet here I've got my 20 minute manager series and uh, you can filter based on those. Uh, so it's, it's actually very useful. You don't have to do anything, it automatically does these. Uh, you can filter by author, but obviously there's lots of authors there. <clears throat> Same with publisher, you know, 184 books, there's lots of publishers. Different genre, if you, if you can see mine are mainly business and economics. Okay, and 
and um, well, it was also date published as well, so I don't find that particularly useful. Uh, and then there's other categories which you can add yourself. Um, let's go back to Peter So and uh, the Feng Shui book for 2021. <coughs> so here, the information as you can see, so it was actually published in 2020, um, in November, which is why it's not showing in 2021's um, uh, book category. And you can see there, uh, it's, uh, you can, if you go to the edit mode, uh, then you can make that your favorite. Uh, you can add information if you want. <clears throat> and there you can go to your rating. So it's good, you can put uh, a high rating on there. Are you gonna read that next? Absolutely, yes. So reading status, you've got unread. Actually, um, uh, let's, let's click a couple of those categories. So loan to, let's pretend I've uh, loaned that out. So <clears throat> I'm going to loan that out. So uh, I'm going to create, enter a contact name. So let's say James, so just type that in. <coughs> Save that. And then it will add that category in there in terms of uh, I've loaned it out to James. Uh, put down the date. Okay, tags. If there are any tags I want to categorize that as. Let's create a new one. So I don't think that was here. Great reads. No, so it's not there. So then you have to edit the tags and add a new one. Put that in. Great read. Okay, and save. So there we have it. So then select that. Go back and uh, save. Okay, so it's already tagged as well. Okay, category, just check that my personal one, created that myself, and that's done. So you also have an option, uh, because it's a popular book uh, that you like, you can share that book with someone. So it just pulls up whoever, and then you can you know, um, share that with that individual. And that's it, so that book is now saved. And there you can see, <clears throat> I pretend I loaned that out, so it's, it's loaned out there. So if you click and scroll down, if you've forgotten, oh, who did you loan it out to? Ah, it's loaned out to James on 20th of Feb. Okay. Favorites, as that's the one I put it, the heart in, so that's a favorite. Any tags are oh, the great reads. There we go, so you can see. It automatically is filtered in there and um, works very well. So in terms of the actual location, so if you click the book and then you edit, if you scroll down, um, you'll find at the bottom an add field. Okay, because you can't see that on the, uh, the actual menu there. So add field, um, there's lots of other fields that you can use, so you can see there um, yeah, I think the only other useful one for me um, really is the actual physical location. So here uh, you can put the location down, I've already got some location there. Um, let's just say, um, yeah, on the lounge shelf. So type that in, lounge shelf, save it. Okay, and that's it. So if you've forgotten where it is, uh, you can punch in your book, Peter So, and where is it? Uh, let's scroll down. Ah, there it is, physical location, lounge shelf. Then I can go to lounge shelf and grab it. So I think that's that's really useful. Um, but you have to add that from your, your additional fields. In terms of the search, um, actually, uh, you can either type in the, the, the book name, so Peter So, um, or you actually uh, click the camera there and you can scan a barcode. So when you're in the bookstore, just confirm whether you have the book or not by just scanning the barcode.
So there you go. Oh, yeah, I've got the pieces. So already, oh, actually, it's already loaned out to James. <laughs> um, and let's just pick this one. So I've deleted this from the database and uh, just scan this one. As you can see, not found. So that means I don't have this book and I can proceed to buy it. Now here, um, Kinokonia, um, their barcodes, uh, so whichever company is sticking their barcodes on top, sometimes they don't work and you'll have to just peel it off and, and get the, the proper barcode underneath. Um, and as I mentioned, uh, the 2D barcodes, as you can see from this piece, so um, they, they don't work with this app yet. So uh, maybe that will be an update uh, in the future. I might ping their uh, the IT. So there you have it. That's um, Book Buddy. I think this app warrants um, its usage because it has my whole inventory of all the books that I have in existence. Uh, if I take some time to categorize them properly, then I'll know exactly where they are, uh, whether they're in a storage box somewhere, uh, whether they're on the shelf in the bedroom or whether they're you know, uh, on the, uh, the, the lounge shelf. And um, before I purchase uh, my, my book uh, from the store, I can then just confirm I don't have it. So a lot of these books uh, are sort of very similar in titles. You think, did I buy that one or not? So, you know, from the app, um, you can just very quickly scan the barcode or type it in and then you'll know. Who reads books anyway? Um, <laughs> yeah, well, um, people still read. Uh, there's online media. Um, you have books which are now digitalized. You can read on your iPad if that's what you like. You can just swipe them uh, page to page. Um, but um, I still like reading a physical book. Um, for me, you know, just flicking through the pages, I can, you know, jump from page one to 100 or whatever, and, you know, um, just you know, very quickly flip through the book. Um, it, it's a different feel compared to, um, you know, flicking on the uh, iPad. Um, so that's my preference. Um, I still will buy books. Uh, so I don't like um, using the iPad for too long because your eyes feel a bit strained with the backlight. Um, so a physical book is still my, my, my preference. So it's five ninety nine, I believe, in GBP uh, for the pro version, which uh, has unlimited no ads. Um, so try it out on the free version first and um, see if you like it. If you like it, then obviously buy it and uh, off you go. I hope you found that useful. If you click the V at the bottom, then I'll put uh, some links in the description. And uh, remember, like and subscribe. See you next time.